Hello friends, welcome back to our day three session where we will talk about DevOps in the cloud. In our first two sessions, we have talked about DevOps and cloud individually, but today we are going to talk about how DevOps and cloud works together. So by the end of this session, you are going to gain a crystal clear understanding of how DevOps and cloud complement each other to supercharge your software development and operations. So here is what you can expect to learn today. We will talk about DevOps in the cloud. We will talk about full potential. We will talk about the future of DevOps in the cloud. And also we will explore the important DevOps tool. After that, we will go through the front portal on the front cloud platform where we will see what are the DevOps services they are offering. After that, I'll share the list of devops tools which are available from different cloud provider i'll share that list with you on telegram as well soon and after this we will go through some common mistakes which we need to avoid when we are going to implement devops in the cloud before starting day three sessions uh, if you have missed day one and day two just have a look here what we have covered on day one and day two if you missed then you can go and check them out the future of devops in the cloud is very bright as the cloud continues to evolve devops will also become even more important for organizations that want to stay ahead of the competition so the thing is some of the trends that are shaping the future of devops in the cloud includes the rising of serverless computing growth of artificial intelligence and the increasing adoption of cloud native technology let's understand one by one when we are talking about the rise of serverless computing as you know serverless computing is a cloud computing model in which the cloud provider manages the server infrastructure and developer only need to focus on writing code so serverless computing is making it easier for organizations to implement devops practices such as ci cd pipeline without having to worry about managing infrastructure similarly if you see the second thing the growth of artificial intelligence as we know devops is all about automation so ai is being used in a variety of ways to improve devops practices for example we can use ai to automate tasks identify and fix bugs or issues and we can also improve security with the help of ai so if ai will grow then definitely we can improve our devops practices third thing is incre increasing the adoption of cloud native technology like uh, cloud native technologies are normally designed to be deployed and managed in the cloud itself as these technologies become more popular now they will make it easier for organizations to implement devops practices you can hear nowadays from every cloud provider they are launching new services in the technology field even ai is also evolving rapidly so we all technologies work hand to hand and uh, see uh, whatever technology comes they need a hosting platform where they can host their application and services so cloud computing is the best option nowadays and uh, if any organization want to implement any new technology they need to adopt devops practices so the thing is whatever skill set you are having if you are not having these two skill set devops and cloud you might get stuck in the future so this is the best time knowing about devops and cloud now let's talk about devops tools which are very very important and these are the tools which we will also cover in our 10 day challenge so there are a number of tools and technologies that can be used for devops in the cloud some of the most popular tools having like CICD tools. Uh, CICD tools actually automate the software development process from code commit to deployment. And Jenkins, Circle CI, and Travis CI are the example of these tools. Next type of tools we are having containerizations. Containerization tools allow you to package your application and its dependency into a single unit that can be easily deployed and managed. So Docker, Kubernetes, OpenShift, these are the example of containerization tools next set of tools we are having infrastructure as a code infrastructure as a code is kind of a configuration management tools which allow you to define your infrastructure in code that means you can make the templates of your infrastructure which makes it easier to automate and manage your infrastructure provisioning 
next set of tools we are having security tools in devops so security tools help you protect your application and infrastructure from outside attack or external attacks so sonar cube coalesce or nessus are the tools belong to security next set of tools is very important those are monitoring tools monitoring tools allow you to track the performance of your application and infrastructure so from prometheus grafana and negus are the tools which we will cover in our 100 day challenge Now we will explore the DevOps services and different cloud providers. So, as you know, DevOps is getting popularity and every cloud provider is trying their best to accommodate all the tools which is available in the market related to DevOps within their cloud providers managed service. So here I have gone through multiple cloud providers like Azure, AWS, GCP, Oracle Cloud and IBM Cloud. So everywhere we can see the services available related to DevOps. If you see here, as I shown you when while go through day two session, uh, we have gone through the Azure services. There are multiple categories. Here they have category like DevOps. There you can see what are the services belong to Azure DevOps. So these are the services if you are using Microsoft Azure. So you can easily adopt the culture of DevOps with the utilization of these services. So you can implement it in your organization. Similarly, if you are working on AWS, they are having a, uh, DevOps services, but they did not define it in different category here. Under the DevOps tools, developer tools, you can see there are services like code artifact, code build, code commit, code deploy, code pipeline. These are the services belong to DevOps domain. Similarly, if you are going, uh, similarly, if you go in gcp portal there you will see there under the solution you have the option of devops inside that one you will come to this page there's space all talk about devops okay under this one you can come here into related services here you will see the cloud build artifact registry pattern google cloud deploy operation suite these all belongs to devops okay if you go to oracle cloud here under the devops you can see the product here and here you will see the services which are defined in right away in comparison to other cloud provider here you can see for managed code repository you can use this way how you can do it there is a hands-on lab as well available for free you can register and get the access so these are the things similarly if you go to ibm cloud they do not define the services individually but they had provided the solution how to implement like plan build verify release deploy monitor these all things so the thing is everybody is trying to adopt devops domain and trying to offer services which are related to devops so as an organization they don't want to lose you like uh, if you planning for devops and if they will not have then definitely you will switch your uh, contact with the different cloud provider right so you can understand if they are thinking about it then definitely we need to think about it we should learn devops with the cloud we can't go alone with the devops or alone with the cloud devops with the cloud is the best combination nowadays we can see now let's talk about the five common mistakes to avoid when implementing devops in the cloud so first mistake normally people do they don't have the clear plan so before you start implementing devops it's important to have a clear plan this plan should include your goals your timelines and the resources you need next common mistake is sometimes we don't don't involve all the stakeholders who is responsible for the services so devops is a team effort not individuals responsibility so it's important to involve all the stakeholders in the planning and implementation process it includes your developer team operational team business teams and even security teams next mistake people implement devops but they don't try to automate all the tasks so not automating task is also a common problem so DevOps is all about automation. If you don't automate tasks, you will be wasting time and resources. Next common mistake is people don't prefer to monitor all your progresses because it's a bit complex and, uh, and time consuming in the start. So not monitoring your progress is also a common problem or common mistake we can say. It's important to monitor your progress as you implement DevOps. This will help you to identify if there is any problem in early stages. So you can make necessary adjustments. Fifth mistake which we are covering in this session is not being patient. Because in this evolving time, nobody want to be patient. So that's also a big mistake we can say because DevOps is a journey, not a destination. So it takes time to implement DevOps successfully. 
so if you don't see the results immediately don't get discouraged but after some time it even it will take months to implement successfully but i'm sure you will get fruitful result in the end so guys that's it in this video where we covered devops in the cloud remember becoming a devops and cloud expert is a step by step process we need to be very sound with the concept and we are just getting started so stay tuned for day 4 where we will dive into one of the core elements of devops version control concept and tools so in day 4 you will learn how version control helps teams to manage their code collaborate effectively and prevent those oops moment we will explore essential tools and techniques that every devops practitioner should know so if you not yet subscribed to this channel then click on subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out day four and all the upcoming sessions together we will master the world of devops and the cloud thank you for watching see you next video Thank you.